What's going on guys, it's Ed back again here and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video in the tier list series. Before we do get into this video, I do just want to say a massive thank you for all of the support on uh, the latest video, it's the first in real life football video, it's the first video post lockdown and there will be a lot more of that content coming in the near future since lockdown is starting to ease out in the UK, I'll be able to get out and about a lot more, I'll be able to get more people on the channel, be able to do a lot more in real life stuff, which is what this channel is all about. But today, you guys wanted it, it's back. The tier list series is back. Um, we've done the goalkeepers, we've done the defenders, we've done the attackers, we've done the midfielders. That's a really nice way to do it, sick ordering of that. Now it's on to the managers. Now this one might cause a bit, a bit of animosity between me and you, between me and you. I just want to say, this is my personal opinion, and if you don't like it, let me know down in the comment section below. We can have a little debate as to why you think I'm wrong, if you do think I'm wrong. If you do think I'm right, let me know down in the comments as well, because, you know, this is this is my opinion. I do think it's right, um, and obviously you may disagree. If you do enjoy, <laughs> obliterate the likes on this video. We've been smashing it lately um, on YouTube. It's been really, really good to see. Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. We are eight subscribers away from 200. So if we can get to 200 um, after this video, that'd be great. That'd be really, really good. But without any further ado, let's stop waffling and let's get on into the manager tier list. Okay, here we go then. As you can see on the screen now, we have the tier list. We've got the same six tiers. We've got GOAT, World Class, Good, Average, Meh and Trash. Of course, there's only 20 managers, so we're not going to have um, as many in each tier because there's not as many to choose from. So, first off, Jurgen Klopp. Does he go in GOAT or does he go in World Class? I think what he's done with Liverpool is very, very good. Is World Class. But does he go down as one of the greatest managers ever in the Premier League? Is he in that conversation? I'm not sure he is. Ah, uh, is he? Ah, oh, I don't know, mate. I honestly don't know. Jurgen, Jurgen, are you in goat? Who's the best manager ever in the Premier League? Jurgen Klopp. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think because he's only done it this season in the Premier League, he's only won it this season. I'm gonna put Klopp in world class. If he can keep doing it for a couple more years, if Klopp wins it next season, and then the season after that, he, he could be potentially in GOAT. He could be in that conversation for the greatest manager of all time in the Premier League. But I think for now, he is gonna go in world class. I'm gonna put Guardiola in GOAT. I don't know about this though. Oh, this is hard. This is tough, bro. I'm gonna get slaughtered. I'm gonna get slaughtered in the comments, aren't I? <laughs> Guardiola goes in GOAT. Uh, I don't know why. Because for City, he's been very, very good, but he's spent a lot of money. No. Guardiola goes in world class. Guardiola does not get in GOAT simply because he's spent a lot of money and he's he's got success. Jurgen Klopp hasn't really spent that much money and got success. So I think the fact that Klopp hasn't spent much money and got success, and Guardiola has spent a lot of money and got more success than Klopp, I think that balances it out and I think I have to put them in the same tier. If you disagree with me, let me know down in the comment section below. I wanna know what your guys' thoughts are on these two. I w when I started this, I put Guardiola in GOAT. But now, he's in world class alongside Guardiola. Brendan Rodgers is going to go in good. I think he overall is a good manager. Did very, very well with Celtic. Um, although it's not very hard, is it, to do well with Celtic. But this season for Leicester City has been very, very good. And um, got them into a Champions League position. If they can see out the rest of the season, if they can keep going strong, they'll get in the Champions League again. And I think the fact that they were third for the majority of the season compared to the teams around them, compared to the competition, I think Rodgers has to go in good. 
Rogers has to go in good. Frank Lampard, I'm going to put in good as well. Now, this one might cause a bit of controversy. A lot of people might put him in average. Um, but I'm going to put him in good. I think Lampard is a very good manager. I think that Chelsea side that he's got has a lot of potential. I think at the minute, Lampard is a good manager. He's started to string together some results that um, are, pu are pushing Chelsea in the forward direction. Chelsea are up to third now in the Premier League. Um, and I think Lampard, with his first season in Premier League management, to do what he's doing with the transfer ban, I think that that is a sign of a very good manager. He's not been able to build his own squad. He's not been able to get his players in that he wants. He's had to do it with the with the hand that he's been dealt. So Lampard is going in good. Next up, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. I'm gonna put him in average. I don't think he's at the level of Brendan Rodgers. He's very indifferent. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer is very indifferent. There will be spells where. Um, he is almost a world class manager, you know. United at the minute are in one of those spells where he could almost be classed as a world class manager. But I think the fact that, it, that it's so inconsistent with these spells, the fact that he, he struggles sometimes to get results, the simple results that um, United need, and the fact that he hasn't really taken United in the forward direction up until post-lockdown. Um, I think we're going to have to put him in average. Maybe maybe good, but I'm going to leave him, at, leave him in average, put him at the very top tier of average. But for now, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer goes in average. Nuno. Going to put him in good. Going to put him in good. He's taken Wolves from the Championship to the Europa League, to almost the Champions League. And no, I was not going to put him in world class because it's biased. I know there he is on my wall, man like Nuno. Um, I think overall, he's a good manager. I don't think he's, he's on the level of a Klopp and a Guardiola. I think... What he's done with Wolves is amazing. It's unbelievable taking from the Championship to the first season in the Premier League to then the Europa League and almost the Champions League. Um, that's obviously an amazing achievement and I love him for that. But I don't think he's on the level of a Klopp or a Guardiola. Um, but I think he's at the top tier of good. I think he's at the top of good. Chris Wilder, again, is going in good. I think Chris Wilder is on the same level as Nuno. To take Sheffield United from Little League 1 to Premier League 7th in the Premier League is outstanding. It's outstanding. And Chris Wilder has done a very, very good job for Sheffield United. And he's going in good. Not world class, because again, I don't think he's on that level. But overall, he, he is a very, very good manager. So hats off. If I have a hat, take it off to Chris Wilder. Um, excellent, excellent manager. Um, and he is going in the good tier. If you do disagree with me on this one, on Nuno, on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, let me know down in the comment section below. Mikel Arteta. I'm going to put him in good. I'm going to put him in good, but I don't think he's on the level of Nuno or Lampard. I think he's just below that, but he's got a lot of time. This is his first season in management, don't, don't forget that. Um, he still hasn't had a transfer window, still hasn't had many transfer windows to get his team in that he wants. Um, and overall, I think he's a good manager. He's not average, he's, he's good. He's good. Arsenal have done well under him. They've had a, a few rocky patches, but overall done a decent job. Mourinho goes in GOAT. Jose Mourinho is in the conversation for the best Premier League manager of all time. Obviously that's Alex Ferguson, but Mourinho does come into, um, into that conversation. He is, he is up there with the best of all time. So Jose Mourinho goes in GOAT at Spurs. He's been indifferent. Sometimes he makes unbelievable results happen. Sometimes he's very, very poor. Um, but I think the experience that he's got, the things that he's done at Chelsea, 
he has to be in that conversation and he has to be in GOAT. I think he's above Guardiola. Um, and I think overall, he's a GOAT manager. Jose Mourinho goes in GOAT. Roy Hodgson goes in average. Done a decent job at Palace, to be fair. Done a decent job at Crystal Palace to keep them in that top half of the table conversation. Hasn't really taken them forward, though. Hasn't really made Palace step up a level. He's just sort of kept them around where they are. So, Roy Hodgson, average. He's just an average manager. Next up, Sean Dyche, going in good. Got Burnley, got Burnley into the Europa League. The next season, last season they struggled because of the fixture congestion, but again this season they've been very good. They're up in that top half of the table. They're up in that conversation for can they possibly get Europa League qualifiers. Sean Dyche has tactically been very, very good for Burnley over the past couple of years. Not had money to spend um, at all really. And worked wonders on the pitch with the players that he's got. He's figured out a system that works and works very very well so overall Sean Dyche goes in good I've actually met Sean Dyche nice lad nice guy Eddie Howe gonna go in average before this season I probably would have put him in good just because of what he's done for Bournemouth but this season they're teetering they're teetering they might go down um so he's gonna go in now Daniel Farker Gonna go in meh. I'm actually gonna put Farker in meh because Norwich City, although they're bottom of the league, although they're already already down, Daniel Farker got them promoted. Daniel Farker played a very, very attractive style of football and got that Norwich City side playing good football, actually. They played very well, but just got unlucky. Maybe with a couple more signings, a bit more money spent wisely. Um, I think Daniel Farker could be a good manager. I think he could be a, an average manager. Steve Bruce going in meh. Um, again, Steve Bruce. Just when you think of Steve Bruce as a manager, you just go like, just meh. Like, I'm sorry, Brucey. I'm sorry. Like, yeah. I'm going to put Bruce in meh. I'm going to put Bruce in meh. Next up, Graham Potter. I'm going to put him in meh again. Brighton have been all right. Like, Brighton have been, yeah. When they've had to win matches, they've won matches. They've obviously got very good results against Arsenal and the likes of the teams like that. But I think overall, he is on the level of a Steve Bruce in meh. I don't think he's as good as Roy Hodgson, but I think, I don't think he's trash. I don't think he's trash. Um, next up, Dean Smith. I'm going to put Dean Smith, Dean Smith in trash. Not just because he's a Villa man, not just because he's the Villa manager. It's not like that at all. I don't think Dean Smith tactically has been good enough this season for Aston Villa. And I've spoken to a lot of Villa fans, and they think the same. I think they've kept him on a bit too long. I think with another manager, Villa possibly could have um, stayed up. They could possibly stay up. Um, and if they do stay up, I, I would obviously move them up to meh. But I think overall, Dean Smith has sort of got like the tactics wrong at Villa. I think there's not enough fight in that Villa team. And I think although the manager obviously can't do it on the pitch, I think determination and wanting to win the game, I think that ultimately does come down to the manager. I think the manager can instill that motivation in the players. And from what I've seen of Villa, from what I've spoke to my Villa mates about, um, they the players just don't look like they want it enough. And I think Dean Smith has to be has to be held accountable for that. Pellegrini. I'm gonna put him in average just because of um, what he did with Manchester City back in the day. But at his time at West Ham, obviously David Moyes is now at West Ham. I would put David Moyes in average as well, so it sort of it sort of doesn't matter that it's Pellegrini. Um, yeah, average. I'm going to put him in average. What he did at City back in the day was magical, but I think with West Ham, didn't really didn't really work for him at West Ham. Wasn't good enough um, and didn't get the tactics right. Carlo Ancelotti, going to put him good. 
Although Everton, he's, strugg he's, he's not struggled. I wouldn't say Carlo Ancelotti's struggled at Everton, but I would say he's not been as good as we thought he would be. Yeah, he's going in good. <laughs> he's going in good. I was trying to think of what to say then, but Carlo Ancelotti is going in good. He's a good manager overall. Ralph Hasenhutl going in meh. Let's actually a shout to put him in average because after they got whacked by Leicester City, could have easily given up. Could have easily given up, but didn't. And kept going, kept trying to play his style of football, kept trying to get the Southampton players motivated for the games. And they've come back and they've done a really, really good job this season. So there's actually a shout to put Hassan Hutton in average, but I am going to put him in there just because I don't think he's on the same level as a Roy Hodgson or a, or a Pellegrini. Finally, Nigel Pearson going in meh. That completes the tier list. Nigel Pearson going in meh. I don't think he's at the level of an average. I think he is. I think meh is the right tier for Nigel Pearson. Sometimes he can win win his team the game sometimes he can lose his team the game got a temper on him um and with watford since he's come into watford they've been very indifferent sometimes they look brilliant sometimes they look awful so i think overall i'm gonna put him in there i'm gonna put him in there that is the tier list complete let me know what you think down in the comment section below do you think i got it right do you think i got it wrong obviously football is a game of opinions if I did get it wrong, in your opinion, please be like kind about it. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't got any time for beef. Like I just can't be asked of it. If you want to hate on me in the comments, go for it because I got your manager wrong. But yeah, that is my tier list. That is my opinion. Jose Mourinho is the only one in goat. I don't think Guardiola is in goat yet. I think with the money that he spent and the team he's got at City, he has to be winning the league almost every season and obviously didn't do that this season Klopp is also in world class as I said just because he hasn't done it enough times he's been very very good this season if he can keep it up for the next two three seasons um well this season and last season he was good actually but if he can keep that up keep the ball rolling at Liverpool for the next two three seasons then he could be in with a shout at GOAT but if you did enjoy this video you know what to do smash that video smash that video smash that like Subscribe to the channel if you are new around here so you never miss out on any more tier lists, on any more in real life videos, in any more vlogs, football vlogs when we can go back to the matches. Yeah, all of that and more coming soon. Thanks for watching. Have a very nice rest of your day. Goodbye.